Good afternoon. It's course selection time again. Just a few minutes ago, you should have received the 2016-17 program of studies. It's time for you to begin reviewing the courses and programs available to you next year. Let's begin with the end in mind. The deadline for student parent initiated course changes is May 6th. This means that decisions about course or level changes must be made before you receive your final report card. You'll be hearing many reminders about this deadline throughout the coming months. What's new for 2016-17? Next year will be the first year for the AP Capstone Program, an innovative program from the College Board that equips students with independent research, collaborative teamwork and communication skills. In its first year, we will be offering AP Seminar where students will investigate real-world issues from multiple perspectives through gathering and analyzing information and develop credible and valid evidence-based arguments. This course is offered to students who are enrolled in one other AP course and in a 6.0 or above English course. AP Research, the final course of the AP Capstone program, will be offered in the 17-18 school year. In the math department, AP Computer Science Principles has been added. This new AP course introduces the central ideas of computer science. This course does not fulfill the math credit requirement towards graduation. For students taking reading intervention courses, the courses have been restructured and renamed. AP Physics C Electricity and Magnetism has been added to the Science Department. This course follows AP Physics C Mechanics and will meet seven times a cycle. In the Social Studies Department, AP European History may now be taken by juniors, and this course will fulfill the Junior Social Studies credit. American Cultures will be replaced by World History for 11th graders, and the Topics in American Life is now Contemporary Global Issues. This course is open to juniors and seniors. In ninth grade, all elective majors in Art, Business, FCS, and Tech Ed will only be offered at the 5.0 level. In addition to traditional courses that we offer, we also have some flexible scheduling options available. For incoming seniors, No School Period 1 and No School Period 8 can be found on page 9 and 10 of the program of studies. Those who have earned 18 credits by the end of their junior year and have attained proficiency status on all three keystones are eligible. These options need to be selected when you are completing your electronic course selection, not in September. No school period one or no school period eight obviously earns no credit, but they count as a six period cycle major when you are counting up requested periods per cycle. The late arrival code is NSP1, standing for no school period one. The early dismissal code is NSP8, no school period eight. You will need to provide your own transportation and you will not be placed in study halls during either period one or period eight. For current juniors interested in trying a college course or two while still in high school, you may consider concurrent enrollment in senior year if you have earned 20 credits by the end of junior year and have achieved proficiency status on all three Keystone exams. Concurrent enrollment means that eligible seniors are enrolled in both college and high school at the same time. In this program, the college courses do not count toward high school graduation credits, nor are they counted toward a high school GPA or rank. We have concurrent enrollment agreements with Penn State, Gwinnett Mercy, Arcadia, and Montgomery County Community College. We will have an assembly on Wednesday, February 3rd during ninth period to share additional information about this topic for students who are interested. And on February 4th, there's an evening program for parents to learn more about concurrent enrollment. Dual enrollment is another option available to incoming juniors and seniors, and it provides on-campus and off-campus opportunities. On-campus opportunities are primarily through Gwinnett Mercy University and exist in the business education and FCS departments. Off-campus opportunities are offered primarily through Montgomery County Community College and have keystone proficiency as a prerequisite. Courses available for on-campus dual enrollment are Preschool Lab 2, Business Administration, Accounting 2, Marketing Strategies, Entrepreneurship, and Sports Entertainment Marketing. If dual credit is desired for these courses, college tuition fees are the responsibility of the student. For current freshmen and sophomores, we are introducing a late start and late ending option. Look on page 10 of the Program of Studies for additional details about this option. This is not an option for athletes or students engaged in club activities that meet after school because in exchange for the late start at the beginning of period two, enrollees will be in class until 335 on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Our program of studies booklet is over 70 pages in length. Just in case you cannot find the courses you need or want within the booklet, 
We also have the availability of virtual high school, which allows students the opportunity to take a course online during the school day. The courses offered in virtual high school are generally semester majors, meeting six periods per cycle with the provision that the virtual course may not be offered in any other way in this high school. If you are interested, see Mr. Swindell's in A11. Virtual high school offers semester courses at the 5.0 and 6.0 levels and a full year AP environmental science course. For further information on available offerings, please check out the website you see at the bottom of your screen. It is also listed under virtual high school in your program of studies. Electronic course selection will expand this year to all students currently enrolled in grades 9, 10, and 11. Here's what is happening. Your teachers in English, Social Studies, Math, and Science are entering the recommendations into the computer so that you can see what they believe is the best course for you. Once all teachers have made their recommendations, students will be given time from January 22nd through February 7th to make your requests through HACC. An email with specific directions will be emailed out on the 21st of January. The counselors will then review your teacher's recommendations and your choices to be certain that prerequisites are met and the proper number of courses and credits are selected. High school counselors will be available in B127 during all four lunches to assist students with course requests via HACC. At some point between now and March 22nd, counselors will meet with every student to review requests and determine alternate choices for elective courses. The alternates are needed in the event that we are unable to schedule your initial electives. Any changes you wish to make between February 8th and May 6th will need to be pr processed through your guidance counselor. In preparation for the electronic course selection process, we ask that you use the worksheet on the back of your program of studies to plan your choices before entering them electronically. Just to note, the middle school timeline, timeline is slightly different. This process is intended to maximize the amount of time your counselors have to review the information and ensure that we have accurate and complete course requests from every student. It is important for you to know that individual meetings with counselors are not necessary until you are prepared to select alternate electives. If you want your counselor to schedule an appointment to answer course selection questions, you are asked to make an appointment through your home office. Juniors and sophomores, we keep talking about Keystone exams because the expectation is that everyone will be proficient or advanced on all three Keystone tests. There are different course requirements for those who don't achieve at these levels. Please look at pages 5 and 6 in your program of studies to learn which requirements apply to you. Please notice that sophomores who test below the proficiency level on the May Biology Keystone will be required to take the semester remediation course, Selected Topics in Biology, in their junior year. On your screen, you will see the subject areas and credits required for graduation for current sophomores and juniors. Note that the total remains at 23 credits for the classes of 2016 and beyond. This information can also be found in the front of the program of studies on page 4. I want to remind sophomores that promotion to grade 11 requires a total of 11 credits. You will need a minimum of 16.5 credits to be considered a senior. In the front of the program of studies on page 11, there is a listing of courses for which summer assignments are required. Those who select any of these courses need to be sure they receive the summer assignment packet from their current teacher in that subject area before leaving in June for summer vacation. Every required English major, English 10, 11, and 12, has mandated summer reading, regardless of course level. Summer assignments will be available online after June 1st. Please note that English reading assignments for every course and level are due in the opening week of school in the fall. In the area of physical education, all current freshmen need to select sophomore physical education, Aquatics 7900, for their sophomore year PE class. All current sophomores need to select Lifetime Fitness 7910 for their junior year PE class. All current juniors need to select Senior Physical Education 7920 for their senior PE class. Senior PE for next year will consist of four units, Adventure Education, Racket Sports, Personal Fitness, and Team Sports. Are you interested in our JROTC program? Those who enroll in the program will be provided uniforms at the expense of the Air Force, and those who successfully complete two or more years of the program are eligible for advanced standing in college ROTC or advanced pay grades over others who enlist after high school. Additionally, for a nominal fee, college elective credits are available through Adams College in Colorado to those who earn a B or better in a JROTC course. 
Let's talk about leveling. Here's our leveling philosophy for English, social studies, math, and science. If you are earning an A or an A plus in your current level, you should move up to the next higher level course in the sequence, if one is offered. If you are earning B or B plus, you should consider the benefits of moving up to the next higher level course in the sequence. If you are earning C or C plus, hold at your current level. If you are earning a D, the reason you're earning a D plays an important role in determining your course level for next year. We want to encourage each of you to challenge yourself at the highest level possible, but we don't want you in a situation that puts you in the failing range in spite of your best efforts. Talk to students currently in the course you are considering to learn expectations so you can make informed decisions. On your screen, you are seeing a picture of the offerings in the science department in your program of studies. Note the information on the charts in this portion of the program of studies as you make your selection. These charts tell you whether the course is a semester or a full year course, the course level, the course value, and the grades in which the course may be taken. Note the running man symbol on the left. They signal that the course qualifies as an NCAA course for our athletes. As you complete your electronic course selection, please consider the following. Each student needs to schedule between 38 and 42 periods per cycle, the equivalent of 6.2 to 6.9 credits. Leveling decisions should be made after reviewing your teacher's recommendation and your current performance in consultation with your parent. Those who want to schedule more than 42 periods per cycle do so by missing a lunch. A parent must make specific requests of this nature in writing through their counselor. Course prerequisites may not be overridden. However, there are individual scenarios that may require an override form to be completed. Please see your counselor with specific concerns. Requests for course level changes need to be made prior to May 6th. For courses that require additional paperwork or applications, those forms are available on the high school website. Click on Our School. Don't worry, if you lose your program of studies, it is available online under the high school website. Again, we urge you to familiarize yourself with the offerings and prerequisites before you make a selection. Talk to others who have taken the course you are contemplating and listen, listen to the advice your teachers provide. For additional information regarding course selection and departmental offerings, please visit the MPHS website and look for the 2016-17 course selection page. Thank you for your attention this afternoon.